Welcome to Electric Umbrella TV. Tonight's show uh, stars the wonderful Charlene Hector, uh, who has been singing with Basement Jacks and all sorts of lovely people for all sorts of lovely times. She's an incredible singer, big heart, warm smile, and uh, she really light, lit up our screens. Uh, joining us today, we had the brilliant uh, Simon and Natasha from Electric Umbrella, who are uh, our co-presenters. And uh, well, I just think you're really going to enjoy this one. This is Charlene Hector on EU TV. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and check us out on electricumbrella.co.uk. A huge electric umbrella round of applause. That's it. Nice and close. Summer is getting the large. That's the way it goes. Thank you so much. Uh, that was epic. Simon, what did you make of that? <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Oh, thank you. Thank really you. awesome. Really just so lovely. And so <laughs> many people just dancing straight away. Yes, dance, dance. That's what I like to see. Yes. Yeah, I mean, there was really no, there was really no waiting for that, was it? It was just like straight in. <laughs> Uh, and that that really is very much what the Electric Umbrella community is about. It's about just getting stuck in and being inspired and being inspirational and all of those things. So uh, really brilliant to see all of that. Uh, what's it like singing for everyone again, Charlene? Oh, it's wonderful. I mean, I, I haven't done a gig on a Zoom before, not like this. So this right. is really, really lovely. This is nice. I'm, I'm in my shorts. I've got my sweatshirt on. I've got my lashes on. Yeah. And I'm happy. So, yeah, lashes, I'm good. Lashes and slippers seems to be the way. Lashes to... and slippers, man. That's the way forward. That's the way forward. <laughs> hey, um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to, you can see on the screen here, there's lots of people waving their hands and giving us what we call a two-finger waggle, which is Ooh. something, yeah, uh, which is like, please let me ask a question. Let me ask a question. Okay. Uh, so we're going to get to, um, we're going to get to some of the people who are going to ask a question. Now, uh, we have people asking questions every week, so we try okay. and avoid uh, doubling up too much. Uh, but I am going to go to our first question here, first question question here which is ty hi ty Hello. how are you doing i'm doing very good thank you uh what's going on with you today nothing much had a good school day had a quick guitar lesson and now i'm here asking this lovely singer a nice question i love it that's 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 the way to do it uh now what would you like to ask for shani now i would like to ask her a question but i'm gonna do it in song but i want her to sing it back to me and answer okay okay all right Amazing. not mucking all around right. then all right mm. hey charlene name me some things that you do to stay positive well when i want to stay positive what I do is I make myself a candle. I make scented candles in my kitchen, yes I do. And that always relaxes me, yeah, yeah. And sometimes I like to meditate and other times I like to read books. And most of the time I like to exercise, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, oh. Thank you. You're welcome, baby. <laughs> I feel like Ty. Uh, that's it's, have you been inspired by our friend Farah? Who's yes. <laughs> <bet>, yeah. <laughs> Somebody keeps muting me. Don't stop muting me, whoever that is. Right. Um, it's but not yeah, me. inspired by our friend Farah, who uh, asked that similar thing last week. Thank you so much, Ty. And great question. Brilliant answer, as ever. Um, <laughs> we're going to go to one more question before we move on. And I'm, I'm trying again to go to people that I haven't spoken to for a little while. This is Molly or Moles. Uh, how are you doing, Molly? Good. Yeah, you're doing good. Uh, Molly, where are you in the world? Whereabouts in the country are you? Are you up there, down there, on the side, on the left, down the bottom? Up. Up north. Up north. <laughs> How far up north are you in Molly? About 
Aiden, Bake, Okay. Well, you sound a little bit like a spinning robot at the moment, but that's fine. <laughs> hey, um, Molly, uh, let's fingers crossed we can get a question out of you. Um, what is your question for Charlene before we move on to the next thing? Right. The of dogs. I got dog. Oh, yeah. dogs. You love dogs. Yeah, you got dogs. Okay. Yeah, dogs. Stop fighting me. What's the dog's name? Martha. Martha B. Okay, good. That's good. What's your question? It, it's my dog. Very bright. Very bright. Oh, your dog is very bitey. Oh. Okay. Stop fighting. <laughs> now, Molly, can can I can I take that question through uh, to Charlene and say, Charlene, if you were a dog, mm -hmm. what kind of dog would you be? Would you be a big sort of like dopey, like lovey dog, or would you be a little yappy dog, or what? What what kind of dog would you be? If I were a dog, I'm not sure exactly what kind of dog I'd be, but I'd definitely be a dog that sleeps a lot because <laughs> I love naps. So Thank any you. dog that's kind of not very energetic, quite slow moving, yeah. chilled out, that would be the same kind of dog I would be. <laughs> okay, that's good. Does that does that sound okay, Molly? Yes. Okay. Do you know what kind of dog you are? Are you are you a jumpy, roundy, smiley, barky dog? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, I thought so. I, I had that I had that about you right there. Uh really great. I tell you what. Thanks, so, Molly. Thank you, Molly. Yeah, uh, we're going to get our co-presenters, uh, Simon, back up here. Hey, Simon. Uh, and we're also going to find Natasha. Uh, so, um, Simon, uh, we were going to play because this is as much about us meeting Charlene as Charlene, Charlene meeting us. Uh, and we thought maybe, Charlene, we should play you some of our music. I would love to hear some yeah. of your music. Yeah. Uh, Partly because you can see that I'm wearing uh, this T-shirt here mm -hmm. on Flower oh, Avenue and, and uh, Natasha is wearing that uh, as well. Oh, yeah. you know what the really beautiful thing here is that this handwriting here, Natasha, whose handwriting is that? I know mine. It is yours, yeah. Oh, it is your God. handwriting. So uh, Natasha wrote all of, the, all of the stuff on the album. So, um, and I know Natasha, it took you a long, a long time and it was a lot of effort. So I'm going to give you one of these little round of applause. Yay. Oh. There it is. Uh, because yes, that is Natasha's handwriting there. Uh, and we, we made this album throughout lockdown. Um, and Simon, why don't you tell, tell uh, Charlene a little bit about the process of how we got to this? How, we, how do so, we go from nothing to this? So uh, we we did a whole load of songwriting sessions throughout like the summer and into the autumn. There was like probably like dozens of us in the room. With uh, we had loads of ideas, put them together, and Tom went away, went put them down. He he got he got he got together with a whole load of musician friends, and recorded a lot of us singing as well. Put it all together. And uh, Sunflower Avenue was born. Writing for other people, though, which is actually really fun. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, the songs that I write, uh, I usually write when I'm kind of a bit down. And right. I've been really happy recently. So it's been actually really tough to write. Cause <laughs> I'm cool. I'm OK. So usually when I'm uh, in a, like, a bit sad about a boy or something, then I can write really well. But when I'm happy, it's like, mm. <laughs> I just want to skip through the fields instead. But yeah. yeah, I do write my own material from time to time. Yeah. OK, that's lovely. Hey, um, I want to talk just very quickly. And I know Simon wanted to ask a question as well uh, about being um, about being in a big band and a big touring thing like Basement Jacks. Like how, mm -hmm. how long have you been doing that? It said 20 years on my yeah, thing. Yeah, since 2001. I've, I've that 20 years Jacks. ago? Yeah, about 20 years ago, because it's 2021 now, isn't it? Oh, my. So, yeah, it is well, a while ago. Um, and it's just the most amazing experience. It was the first time I'd ever toured with a band. I was about 23 years old, something like that. Right. And uh, when I joined and I was just I hadn't any touring experience, but I learned so much along the way and I got to meet some really lovely people who I'm still friends with now. 
And it's just been, it was a great experience because the music is great. Every night you're on stage for about an hour and a half singing, yeah. dancing in some crazy costume, which is really fun to wear. And you've got lots of people screaming and having a good time and dancing and singing with you. So it's, yeah, it's a beautiful experience doing something like that. Simon, have you got anything you'd like to ask about about that world and, and those kind of things? Oh, yeah. Um, well, I'm a big fan of Beastman Jacks. And oh, I was yeah. thinking, oh, what's, what was your favourite song to sing? Oh, my goodness. I had a few. I really, really liked singing. Um, there was a song that I actually didn't perform when I was in the show. It's a song called Jump and Shout. And that song was usually going on whilst I was getting changed. We had a lot of costume changes um, during the show. And that song would always be on while I was getting changed. So I'd always be in my pants dancing around to that song. <laughs> <laughs> whilst they were on stage, I was backstage with, in my pants just dancing. So yeah, that was my favorite song out of um, all the songs that um, we did on the tour. Clap your hands, clap your Come on, hands. clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody dance here, yeah. That was, was double, unbelievably epic. Thank you. Such brilliant dancing. I absolutely love watching everybody dance. That was Charlene Hector with Everybody Dance here on EU TV. I'm going to go to uh, Natasha, my co-presenter. Natasha, what did you think of that? Did you have a good dance to that one? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, I thought it was a I thought it was amazing too. Uh, Natasha, what did the meerkats think of it? Did the meerkats? They're not too sure. They're not too sure. They're not too sure. We were going to do a thing, weren't we, Natasha? Because we were saying um, that, Charlene, we saw you on TV on Friday. Yes, that's right. Yeah, on TV with Alan Carr. Uh, remind mm. me what the, what the show was called. It's like it's like all the quiz shows in one or something. Yeah. So basically, there is a, a series called Alan Carr's Epic Game Show, okay. and so every Saturday they do an episode of a different. You know those old school um, game shows like Bullseye, The Price yep. Is Right, Blankety Blank, and Name That Tune. So I was part of the house band for Name That Tune. Brilliant. I saw <laughs> Ali. Ali lives quite near to me in a in a town called Tri. <laughs> In oh, well, I do. And we saw we saw each other. It was absolutely fantastic. Yeah, it was. It was really great. I saw him in the high it, street. It was amazing. Way where you you bumped into me somehow. It was really lovely. It was really lovely. My wife. Yes. My wife was really pleased to see you as well. It's Ali. Like, um, as a question for Charlene. For 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 acting, really. Okay, go for it. Um. 
it seems it seems it always you know recently loved her her story about the rest rips, if you will. Your last name is from Miss Harbroom Hegarty. Her full name is Miss Harbroom Hegarty. Okay, so that's did I hear that right? That, that reminds me of you. You're the, the strict headmaster knowing what she's going to do next. So uh, that's my question. So you, you, rem, you remind him of uh, the, the the strict headmistress from from oh. the worst witch. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> only because you name. Only because you you dress where you got the style. Okay, so uh, Ali, it's sorry. Christmas, you know, you do it. Ali, uh, ask the question again. I interrupted. Ask the question again, the last bit. Oh, well, kind of a question is this. What is your favourite album? What is your favourite choice of songs to be? Okay, what is your favourite oh, album man. ever? Great question, Ali. The Miseducation of Lauren Hill. That is my favourite album of all time. It was what made me want to, I mean, honestly, I wanted to be a singer when I was a child and I kind of made a decision when I was about 10 that that's what I was going to do. Um, but when I heard that album, <clears throat> it actually changed my life because there was a woman who looked like me, a black woman, singing and rapping and playing instruments and writing songs. And yeah. that's what I wanted to do. So it was really inspirational. On a beautiful so well beautiful. done everybody that was gorgeous really gorgeous it's so <laughs> lovely to watch ah. obviously lovely to see to hear you sing as well uh, charlene uh, myself and natasha and simon would like to say thank you so much for coming on to electric umbrella tv thank you for Hope having you enjoyed me yourself i did um and oh, thank you <clears throat> It's been great, isn't it? And, and Natasha, uh, we, we have a question that we ask all of our guests. We put people on the spot. And mm -hmm. Natasha, do you remember what it is? Or should, or should we ask it together? Or and Simon can help us out. Yeah. What, what, do you want to, what do you want to ask, Natasha? Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. 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 So when we can do gigs again, yeah, yeah, will you come and sing with us? Of course I will. I would love that, to. That's what we're all waiting for. That's yeah. what we're all waiting for. To get, course, to get back together. 
get in the room and do some do some gigs and i think it would be amazing to have you come down and sing with us we've already we've already uh, managed to strong arm uh, natalie into saying yes <laughs> Yes, I would love to. That'd be great. Get it dragged together. Uh, <laughs> Simon, anything else that you'd like to say before? Because it is time to time to go. Is oh. there anything else you'd like to say or ask? Oh well, well, I've been I've been having to listen to some of your songs, Charlene. I've added "Step It Up," "Savior," and "Holding oh, Me" to my collection. Thank you. <laughs> great tunes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Check them out on Spotify, guys. <laughs> yeah, check her out. Uh, so this is thank you. Thank you so much, Charlene. Uh, we really, everybody here is saying thank you very much for being here. Oh, uh, we really you. have had a lovely time. We've, it was a joy to hear you sing. Um, I'm you. sorry we didn't get to all the questions, uh, but we are going to finish up just very quickly before we leave uh, by introducing, because we haven't done this in a little while, this yeah. Is my man, Mr. Crab Master, with an R. Is the Crab Master. This is Tomo. <laughs> Tomo, uh, because this lady here loves to dance so much, maybe we need to teach her the crab dance. Uh, no, Tomo, real quick, how does the crab dance go? Yo, Mr. Long Hair. <laughs> <laughs> he called me Curly Whirly the other week. <laughs> Okay, what well, curly whirly. I am a curly whirly, you're right. What we gotta do? Yeah, you want to do the crab? <laughs> Ask me. Hey, right, show us, show us the move. <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> You've got to let it out, it's better out than in, man. Better out than in. That's what a crab would do, it would I let it off. This. <laughs> <laughs> The crab would let the bubbles out first, wouldn't it? It would let the bubbles out first. All right, take it, take it away, Tomo. One arm up. One arm up. Rid the pinchos. With the pinchos, yeah, yeah. Rid the other arm. Rid the pinchidios. Mm -hmm. I'm doing my deep voice. I'll do your deep voice, yeah. <laughs> And with your right leg, mm -hmm. there. <laughs> you might need to stand up if you do the cramp. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. I love that. I love that. Yeah. Very specific instructions here. Okay. okay. That's it, Tom. That's it, Tomo. Here we go. So, oh, I love it. She's taking it seriously. Yes. Do the cramp, then, yo. Oh. Dear. The crab. No, I'll put it on. The crab. The crab. Woo. All right, everybody. It is time to do some crab dancing. Remember the face as well. The face. Let's go. Yeah. Ah. Do the crab dance. Do the crab dance. Puppy cheek. Do the crab dance. Do the crab dance. Do the crab dance, put your cheeks on and do the crab dance. Do the crab dance, do the crab dance. Go side to side and do the crab dance. Do the crab dance, do the crab dance. Go side to side and do the crab dance. Do the crab dance, 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 All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's see this some crabbing before we say goodbye. Thank you so much to Charlene Hector. Let's see those crabs. Who else we got crabbing out there? Woo -hoo! So many good crabs. Oh, I love it. Charlene's taking it to another level. Another level of crabs. Yeah, come on. Do the crab, a crab, a crab. Do the crab, a crab, a crab. Do the crab, a crab, a crab. Do the crab dance. Crab dance. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much to everybody for coming to Electric Umbrella TV tonight. Thank you to Charlene Hector. Let's give Charlene a massive round of applause. Thank you Let's for having us. me. Have you got anything you'd like to say before we go, Charlene? Keep shining, everybody. You're all amazing and beautiful. And thank you so much for having me. It's been an absolute pleasure. It's been lovely to have you here. Thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, we are going to just announce very quickly about what's coming up next week. There is no EU TV next week. Next Monday, there is no EU TV. It is bank holiday, and we have decided that we will not be broadcasting on bank holidays. So it will be the first 
time in this whole year and a bit that we haven't broadcast on the Monday. So uh, have a great day off, everybody. That is next Monday the 3rd. We will not be here for EU TV, but we will be here for other stuff throughout the week. So uh, thank you very much. Uh, very quickly, what have I missed? Gav have we got Gavin here still? Of course, yeah. I'm always here. All right, Gav. Tell me quickly, what have I missed? What have I forgot? <laughs> What is, it, what is it with you lot today? My goodness, <laughs> Gavin, we gotta go. What have I forgotten? Um, you forgot the um, you forgot the music machine on Wednesday. Yeah. And then and then don't forget the Express. So woo woo, come the board, the Express. And then the sing along on Friday. And then I'm gonna say this. So cut. This is gonna be the crazy Yubert Rapper Club. Oh my God, it's gonna be so. <laughs> okay, remember you can find everything you need at electricumbrella.co.uk. Uh, we have also got the cyber, the uh, Sunflower album out and we have also got the Sunflower Challenge going on. Uh, if you want to be a co-host or co-presenter, it is co-host at electricumbrella.co.uk. It is time to go. We will see you all very, very soon. Lovely to that was Charlene Hector on Electric Umbrella TV. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in anything that we do here at Electric Umbrella, uh, please like and subscribe. Like and subscribe to our channel uh, on YouTube, or you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and the rest, and it is electricumbrella.co.uk. Uh, if you are at all interested in being involved as a guest, as a participant, do you know somebody with a learning disability? Are you interested in the world that we picture for people with learning disabilities and for all of us that is a bit more inclusive, a bit more open, a bit more yellow, a bit more joyful, because together everybody wins. Uh, if you're interested in those things, then do send us a message, send us an email, and. Uh, uh, let's 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 talk. Let's find out how we can work together.